In Tableau 25.1, you can now use the agent inside of Tableau Desktop itself. I'm gonna show you how that works in this video. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to need to do is to sign into a Tableau client instance that has the Tableau Plus license enabled. It's not gonna work unless you have Tableau Plus. Tableau Plus is the premium tier license for Tableau. To do that, you need to go up into the server settings and make sure you sign into the Tableau Cloud instance. It's only available for Tableau Cloud. This won't be coming to Tableau Server. I get that question a lot. There's no roadmap really for any of these AI features for Tableau Server. So until that changes, don't expect it in Tableau Server in any upcoming release. So once you've signed into Tableau Cloud, you can go ahead, open up desktop as normal. And over here on the top right hand side, you'll see you get this little Einstein icon. This is the Salesforce icon for using generative AI. When you click on it, it opens up the side panel and you pretty much have the same panel you have in WebEdit. Now, there've also been some improvements done to this agent. So you can go ahead and ask a range of questions. And what I'll do is at the end of this video, I'll link you to a great session that Tableau had showing you the upcoming capabilities in this particular area. But if you have Tableau Plus and you're using this agent, you're now able to use it inside of desktop. So we can get it to go ahead and do a very simple thing. An example of a calculation I saw them writing was asking Tableau to classify first time customers and repeat customers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat that uh, question here. Can you, uh, classify first time customers and repeat customers. Now, before I hit enter, the way I would do this is I'd use an LOD to look at the customer level for the lowest order date in the transaction list. And uh, once you found the smallest transaction item, you can basically check every date against that date to say true or false for uh, the specific first time or last time customer. And then you're pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead and hit enter and see what it suggests. Now it takes some time because what's happening here is Tableau Desktop is querying the cloud for this answer. And the way that this is working is it sends the data over to the Einstein trust layer. Now I've actually done a whole course on LinkedIn learning that covers how Tableau AI works and it has a section specifically on this bit. But what I'll do is I'll put a diagram on screen on how the Einstein trust layer works. You can go ahead and check that out and it will break down how your data stays secure without you having to send any real data to the LLM. But anyway, you can see it's done the calculation and I think it's broadly gotten the question right. Right, so if the order date is equal to the minimum order date fixed to the customer level, then it's a first time customer, else repeat customer, end. And actually what it's done is not only has it created the calculation, it's also put it here in the data pane. <laughs> I was doing this demo previously, which is why there's already an example right here. It's just done the same thing twice. But you can see it did the sort of whole thing and it actually renamed it uh, number two as well. So that that's the exact same calculation. Now, the nice thing is you can then go on and do some follow on questions. So, okay, the new customer classification field was added to the data pane. If you go ahead and click the suggestions on the bottom, it thinks about what would make sense to ask next and it gives you those sort of three options here. So how does the average sales value compare between the first time customer and the repeat customer? If you go ahead and click on that, the analysis then gets done. So even though this wasn't great at launch, I think this is starting to become a useful feature, especially for new analysts who are just looking for quick ways to ask questions. The, the critical thing here is, look, if you were trying to figure this out yourself, you would have had to have gone to Google, correctly found the information to let you know that an LOD was required, Having done that, you would then have to understand the concept of granularity in a lot of detail and then understand which LOD to use, fixed versus include versus exclude. Once you've done that, you then have to correctly put together this formula logic. Now, in most cases, what you do is you look for this formula and you just copy and paste it in. But even this was faster than doing that. So that's actually quite a nice uh, quality of life improvement if you have the license that is, um, and it's a really nice thing to have. So you can just go ahead and ask these questions and have that running inside of Tableau. Now, you can see here it's built the charts, built the analysis, and we can essentially start using this in our work and we're pretty much good to go. That's the feature in a nutshell. Now I said I'd show you um, a, a session that they had that showcases more of what's coming. So let me just bring that here on screen. If I bring that in, you'll see that they have this um, uh, new series called Inside Track on Tableau. And essentially what this is a series by Tableau that's going to be looking at specific features in the product. It's actually a user group, so you can sign up to this user group and get involved. But 
they had uh, this exact demo and they basically walk through parts of the capability. So you can see here that they've got some improved capabilities coming here in April and May and June. So first on cloud and then subsequently in the follow-up release. We know here that the next release for Tableau will be around June 25 uh, because that's what they're saying here in terms of general availability. So there you go. That's um, all I have for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.